what is going on collective welcome back to my channel it's your boy adam raw like comment share subscribe uh today i am going to do uh, a message a channel message well i can't really say a channel channel message but um yeah i'm definitely gonna be doing a message today um wow okay so basically oh man this is so dirty so basically what ended up happening was uh you know um i got confirmation today that what i was you know what i what i assumed to be true was actually true right and i was getting a vibe like you know there was like you know there was this couple or whatever because remember i was telling you guys about my spiritual warfare so that's what this that's what this reading is going to be about this is going to be about my spiritual warfare I'm going to pull a few cards and I'm just going to break down what happened and uh, how everything turned out or whatever, right? But the vibe that I was getting was that, you know, um, there's somebody here, well, not somebody here, but the person who was doing spiritual warfare towards me was actually like somebody who was into like kids and stuff like that, right? So I don't know if they were like, fostering kids and like sex trafficking fostering kids or if it was one of those things where they were just like you know getting the kids or whatever but they were using them for different things you know because like the way that i see it right now it was like somebody was like i guess they didn't want to work or whatever it may be and they decided to, you know, be a foster parent. So they fostered all these kids, right? Or got these kids and started, quote unquote, fostering them. Well, what ended up happening was like one or two or, you know, when they when they get certain kids, I'm not sure if they're pulling cards on these kids or not, but they're seeing that these kids have like different abilities and stuff like that. And what they're doing is they're making like they're doing black magic on like foster kids you know what i'm saying doing business like they're doing black magic on foster kids and what happens is like you know some of them are you know are being used to have sex with old you know like adults and stuff like that and you know what i'm saying they go out they collect that money or whatever uh, but I also had the vibe that some of them was being used to like uh, like traffic drugs. You know what I mean? Like somebody is in a situation where they can't move like they want to. So they're using like kids to get what they want or something like that. But um, yeah, it was crazy. Um, anyway. Okay, for those of you who are still in the spiritual warfare battle or whatever, or still going through, like still being attacked and things of that nature, uh, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be for much longer. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not gonna be for much longer. It was just like I was telling you about the spirit of Moses being out here. Well, now the vibe that I'm getting here, it has to do, it's like Moses, the, that energy is still out here, but this has to do more, like the energy that's out here now is more about like Sodom and Gomorrah, where God is sending uh, er, possibly earth angels. God is gonna send like some angels in to just go ahead and just wreck the whole thing, okay? Um, with Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, um, God sent the angels and the angels was waiting by the gate or whatever. But, you know, if you notice everybody inside that gate, I mean, everybody in the city, you know, pretty much was just, you know, wanted to have sex with these angels or whatever it may be. And you could be dealing with the same situation, especially if you are an earth angel or star seed or somebody with high vibrational energy. That's generally what this is all about. It's a community. Uh, at least in my spiritual warfare experience, it's a LGBTQ community that wanted, that was trying to recruit me into their, you know, little tribe. And I didn't want to do it. Even now, I don't want anything to do with it. It's not just, you know, you got one part that's the men side and you got the female side. And they were having, they were doing this to like uh, foster kids 
and they were you know what i'm saying like the foster kids where i'm not sure if they had like a gang or something like that but i did get the vibe that there's a masculine in that group that had to have sex with i guess the boys or something like that to recruit them there is a video about that that's going to come out okay it's gonna come out it's it's a video about some uh you know about basically adults who are abusing the fostering system because you know like i was saying before the foster kids system, the fostering system is already kind of flawed because they allow people to you know foster these kids and a lot of them end up being like pedophiles or abusers in some way shape or form you know what i mean but you don't get to pick and choose who you go with because everybody isn't open to foster children you know and another thing when it comes to like fostering and stuff is like those kids they come with backgrounds some of those kids were sexually abused and i'm assuming that's what this is about somebody is getting like foster kids that were sexually abused or whatever and they're sleeping with them stuff like that sleeping with them have them born to have sex with other people um you know what i'm saying and I, it could also even be somebody out here recording that too and the reason why i say that is because i had a dream about a man sitting at a uh a, a, um a screen like a, a a security booth and he had nothing but screens all over so yeah let's see what kind of energy comes out you got the four swords in reverse here yeah Whoever this person is, they are definitely not getting any rest or any sleep. Uh, this definitely gives me the vibe of somebody who is like, um, not necessarily just restless, but their mind is like always running. That's the vibe that I'm getting. Something about a mind that doesn't turn off. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's constantly running. It's constantly running. see what else we got here yeah you got the three of so three of swords out here in reverse here yeah so whatever is going on here there this person is thinking about like i guess there's somebody here you know i don't know if it's you guys or whatever but it has something to do about healing like emotional healing or something like that like somebody's healing process is keeping them up at night is what I'm getting here. It's not the it's not the energy of them not being able to heal, I don't believe. But it definitely give me the vibe of somebody who just Yeah, they just up all night. Somebody is up all night and they're worried about their health or something like that or some kind of medicine or how to heal themselves or something like that. Somebody is really worried about their health out here. Let's see what else we got out here. We got the three of wands in reverse and we got the king of wands in reverse here. Yeah, whoever this is, um, excuse me, with the three of wands out here in reverse, this has to do with somebody who is like, uh, in the king of wands, this give me the vibe of somebody who is like, who did a lot of messed up stuff in the past or did a lot of stuff that, you know what I'm saying? Just, just give me the vibe of like a bullying energy right well now they're stressed out and they're worried because they can't you know they can't sleep because of some kind of healing work that they need done or something like that something about healing then you got the three of wands in reverse and the king of wands out here in reverse that gives me the energy of like um wanting something but not being patient enough to go after it you know what I mean? It, it just give me the vibe of somebody who um, wants what they want right now. And if they don't get it, they'll just turn over everything. You know what I'm saying? That's the vibe that I'm getting. So. Yeah. I don't know if this is a father or what, but.
it's just giving a vibe of somebody who's like battling with like a health issue or something like that. Yeah, you got the Ace of Pentacles out here in reverse, and you got the Nine of Nine of Wands out here. So this give me the vibe of them like, well, I don't, I don't want to say them, but this give me the vibe of somebody who missed out on the opportunity because they had trust issues or something like that. I don't know if they're trying to get you to doubt yourself or something like that because they don't want you to have some kind of opportunity. But, you know, my thing is, with or without this opportunity, you're still blessed because you're not stressed out and worried about your health right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Basically, the vibe I'm getting is like, this is an old person. This is somebody who, you know, basically just, I don't know. But anyway... Yeah, you got this Ace of Pentacles out here. There was some kind of opportunity that somebody closed themselves off to. It's like, basically, this person had an opportunity that came up, and it could have made them a lot of money, is what I'm seeing here. But somehow they blew it. It was something about them blowing it or something like that. You got the Knight of Cups out here, and you got the Chariot card out here. Yeah, so it gives me the vibe of something about a love offer that was coming in. If you are in a relationship, I mean, if you are single or something like that, there's definitely somebody out here who wants to offer you a cup of love. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. So, yeah, you got somebody. Yeah. And um, with this, this cup of love that's coming in here. It looked like it's coming in faster than what you expected. So if you are out here and you were waiting on someone or whatever, or you just decided to walk away from something, there's going to be some kind of love or love offer that comes in, comes flying in to you. Let's see what else we got. Got the strength card in reverse and you got the two of pentacles here. Okay, so yeah, this give me the vibe of, uh, you know, basically after this person lost out on this money or whatever they're trying to recover their their uh finances basically somebody out here is trying to uh gain momentum with their finances they're trying to uh rebuild their finances in a sense although they are you know they really don't want to do it they want to do it the fast way which is why you have the two of pentacles out here whoever this person is they're juggling right now this that paycheck to paycheck thing this is the energy of not being able to um What I want to say. Not get ahead. With the strength card out here in reverse. Yeah. Let's see what else is out here. You got the two of cups out here. And you got the five of cups down here. With the two of cups in reverse. And the uh, five of cups out here. This give me the vibe of somebody who's focused on somebody that they lost in the past. So I don't know if this is you or not. But there's somebody out here who's mourning or weeping or whatever. Who really wants to, I guess, get back with you or something like that. I've been hearing that a lot all day, so, you know. Alright, so, uh, let's find out what's going on with these foster kids. I mean, with these, uh, trafficking kids here. Okay, so you got the page of wands right off the back. Okay, yeah. So whoever has these foster kids or who's been fostering these kids, they've been using these kids for sex. I don't know if they're having sex with them, paying people to have sex with them, or even using them to do, you know, because um, there was a situation where somebody was paying for spell work using sex. Okay? So I don't know if somebody was, like, sending kids to have sex with adults as payment and compensation for different stuff you know what i'm saying because you know yeah Oof. you got the empress in reverse here this is a woman so this is a woman who's also sleeping with a the child there's a woman out here who has sex with a child or is sleeping with the child what else we got here you got the nine of pentacles here in reverse yeah 
I don't know if this child, well, obviously, if they're fucking, you know, having sex with a child, they're going to be called dependent. But this energy here is somebody who can't take care of themselves. Okay. So I don't know if this woman or whoever this is, um, you know, got into a relationship with this child or this underage person. And now, you know, they're in that energy of like codependence or something like that. That's the vibe that I'm getting here. Let's see what else we got here. We got the uh, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. We got the Hermit in reverse. And we got the Magician out here. Yeah. So basically, the vibe that I'm getting here is uh, it was, is confirmation of what I was talking about. About them using the kids for like spell work and stuff like that. Because remember, I was telling you that there was somebody out here who was like working for somebody or something like that. And what they did was they would like um, make puppets and poppets of people. And like mess with their abilities and stuff like that or try to steal their abilities and their fates and stuff like that yeah there could be like some foster kids or something or some adopted kids that's out here in this situation right now whoever has them involved in this they it's like they don't want them to work or they're not allowing them to work right and they also keep them inside the house or close by is what i'm seeing here then whoever these kids are, they don't get to go outside and stuff like that, like all the other kids, too much. You know what I'm saying? You also have the magician out here. The magician out here, what it does is, it's like, because they can't go outside, they stay indoors all the time, and these kids could be practicing magic. You know what I'm saying? That's the vibe that I'm getting is like those kids could also be practicing, man. You got the uh, Seven of Cups in reverse here. You got the Wheel of Fortune here. And you got the Ten of Cups here. Yeah. the Whoever this is, they were under this some kind of false illusion that they were going to get something out of, like, you know, using these kids or whatever it may be. Whatever it may be. They thought they were like, this is like, like pimping these kids was going to like you know make them famous or whatever it may be you know what i'm saying because that's the vibe that i've been getting all week is that somebody want to do something to be like famous you know let's see what else we got here before i uh hit the sack you got the knight of wands out here you got the queen of swords out here and you got the moon card out here yeah so even this woman here who's like governed behind all of this uh whatever this female energy is that's behind all of this they're having a secret affair with somebody younger not even not a child but this has to do with somebody who is like uh just of age you know what i'm saying could be a fire sign but um yeah i don't know if these kids spoke out the truth about what was going on either though I, I'm thinking like the maybe the kids or the kids that were fostered spoke out about this and nobody and you know it, it was kept a secret or something like that that's the vibe that I'm getting is that one of those kids or somebody spoke up about like these molestation charges or having you know what I mean like somebody spoke up about this but it somehow got swept under the rug That is crazy, man. But yeah, um, it looked like there's like a Queen of Swords sending these kids out to have sex with people and stuff like that. Then you have the Moon card out here. So let's see what this secret is about. Let's see what this is about. So like somebody out here is like uh, overwhelmed or over bur overly burdened somebody is like overly over overwhelmed or overburdened about some kind of love situation here i wonder if this uh this this whoever this woman is fell in love with one of these kids or a foster child or something like that and i don't i don't know i don't know i'm gonna pull a few more and then that's it 
You got the Eight of Wands out here, you got the World card, and you got the King of Pentacles here. So with the Eight of Wands out here, this has to do with like communication coming in about some kind of cycle that's over or something that's over, right? It looks like somebody is going to get something that they inherited out here with the King of Pentacles out here. There's some kind of inheritance for somebody out here. If they like the foster kids, they could have been like stealing the foster kids money too. Like, you know, fostering kids that had like, uh, you know, like trust and stuff like that. And then like, you know, stealing their money and stuff like that, you know, trying to keep them from getting to it or making it where they can't get to it without them so that they can have control over them and stuff like that. Yeah, somebody could be being controlled by like some trust money or something like that. That's all I got right now. Um, that was just a you know just a little snippet or whatever. But uh, yeah, I catch up with you guys later. Um, peace.